What do you think you're doing? Don't pretend I don't see you there, student. Mind telling me why you aren't in bed? I don't know whether to be angry over you trying to lie to me or embarrassed over your acting skills. Seeing as you're in the drama class once a week. Come, student. Let's go to my room, where we can discuss the exact reason as to why you're sneaking around school at... 2 a.m.? Sit. Make yourself comfortable. Well, normally I would just give a student out of bed detention. It's way too late for me to interrogate a student. But when it comes to you, you're not usually one to break rules. Not to mention you're one of my top performing students. Finding you sneak around like this is rather peculiar. Would you like something to drink? I've got a few different options. Of course, this hour I won't be giving you any coffee, but I got tea, chocolate, and well water. What would you like? Hot chocolate it is. <laughs> is that what Roslyn and Fern have been saying? That I'll whip their hands with a ruler. Well, I suppose anything to keep their reputation as cool, kids. No, I don't use that kind of ancient, frankly barbaric punishment. Here, your chocolate. I try and help my students. When it comes to those two, though... Oh, and please don't spread this around. I don't think they would be very pleased of either of us. But Rosalind and Fern have a hard time with their studies. When they don't understand, they act out. And as their head teacher, they are sent to me. The hours they spend with me are mostly so that they can catch up and, and have a helping hand there for their assignments when they get too difficult. I try and look beyond the crime and see why it was committed. So, what is the reason behind yours? Why did you, for the first time since coming to the academy, decide to break the rules and sneak out of bed? I'm sure it's not silly. It's okay. You can tell me. Whatever you say will stay inside this room. Ah, now I understand. My student, it's completely normal to feel homesick. This is your first time living away from your family. Most students here have lived in the academy for years. To most, the academy is like their second home. They're used to how things are around here. You have not even been here for an entire semester yet, though. It's okay to feel sad or homesick. It's completely natural. So, you couldn't sleep and wanted to distract yourself from thinking about your family. Is that correct? I thought as much. You know, when you're feeling like this, you can always come knocking. No matter what time it is, I'm here. If you just want another cup of chocolate and, and talk a bit, or if you want to do something, I could read you a book, or we could play some cards, or you could sleep on the couch while I get some work done. It's completely up to you. 
Nighttime is tough for many. It's when you feel the most lonely. When everyone else is asleep and you're left with your thoughts. It's okay. If you want a distraction, I'm usually up pretty late. You can just come and knock. It's alright, student. I don't mind. How do you feel about tonight? Do you want to return to your room, or do you want some more company? <laughs> no, I'm not going to punish you. I thought I had made it clear that I'm not one for punishing my students when they don't need punishment. Rosalind and Fern need help with their studies. You need some compassion and company. So, how do you feel about tonight? What do you want to do? Of course I can. Just lay down on the couch, student. You can grab one of the blankets on the armrest. Hmm, what would be a good book for tonight? Perhaps some Malice in Wonderland? All right, then. Are you cozy? Good. Don't worry. I'll read until you fall asleep. Chapter 1. Down the Rabbit Hole Alice was beginning to get very tired of sitting by her sister on the bank, and of having nothing to do. Once or twice she had peeped into the book her sister was reading, but it had no pictures or conversations in it. And what use is of a book, thought Alice, without pictures or conversations? So she considered in her own mind, as well as she could, for the hot day made her feel very sleepy and stupid, whether the pleasure of making a daisy chain would be worth the trouble of getting up and picking the daisies, when suddenly a white rabbit with pink eyes ran close by her. can't help but think of the uh, Fire Emblem game, uh, Three Houses, where you play as a professor. That was a fun game. If any of you played it, what was your favorite character? My favorite character was probably Bernadetta, but I also liked Hilda and Clyde. I was like uh, full-on Team Golden Deer. Even though they didn't have the most interesting story, I really liked the characters.